Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Hello. Um, it's lovely to welcome each of you here this morning. You're all very, very welcome. A special welcome to folks from Brigades this morning for joining us as part of your parade. It's lovely to see you as well. In a moment, we're going to um, think about praising God and worshipping God together. But before we do that, I just have two things I need to mention, um, particularly for folks who are here uh, most weeks. And the first of those is that after our service today at 11.45, um, so hopefully we'll finish, we'll have time for a cup of tea or coffee, and then we'll be able to come back together. We've got a special church meeting where we will be uh, voting on whether or not to uh, call somebody to the post of pastor for caring and serving ministries. And so please do join us for that. We hope to be core at um, for that meeting. I don't anticipate it being a long meeting, um, but please come and join us. If you're not a church member, um, you're very welcome to be in the meeting, but I'm afraid you wouldn't be able to vote in the meeting. Um, so that's going to happen after the service. And then, on the 6th of November, the 6th of November, we are having our official launch for Hope and Hospitality, which is our motif, our vision, our framework for the next few years as a church um, together. And part of how we're going to mark that, as well as having a special service together in the morning, is in that afternoon, um, various people have volunteered and offered to host us for food. Not everybody, all in one house, um, but instead at the moment we have 10 venues and uh, some of them it's uh, lunch and some of them it's afternoon tea and they're all different things on that Sunday. If they all get full we'll find more venues, that's okay, don't worry, we haven't exhausted our list of people to ask yet either. Um, but the sign up list for that is on the reception desk so you can have a look and think, ah oh, excellent, well I was going to go there but actually I know they do a really good you know, lemon meringue pie so I'll go there there. Whatever it is, have a look and see where you want to put your name down so we can get organised. So that's, they're all on, on the reception desk uh, through there, so do have a look after the service. So that's the end of the notices. Now, we're going to have a thing on the screen. Now, with lots of different letters, we have not done this in a very long time. So we're going to have a go at this this morning. I want us to try and think of words to describe God that begin with the different letters in the alphabet. As we come to praise God, part of what we do in church is to think about who God is and then what that means for us. So who God is and what a difference that may make for us as people who are doing our best to believe and to follow. So, can anyone think of a word that might describe God beginning with A? Stuart, you've got a word, have you? Beginning with A. Adoring, fantastic, well done you. No prompting there whatsoever, fantastic. Right, okay, let's move to B. Don't be dignified, come on. Bountiful. Oh, bountiful, adoring, bountiful. These are great words, aren't they? Well done. What about C? Go on, Nell, go on. Caring, fantastic word. Okay, D? Divine, Divine. we'll take that. E? So everlasting, thank you. F, go on. You can, we'll take a second one for E, that's okay. Is it gone? That happens to me sometimes, don't worry. Oh, at the back. Forever lasting, we'll definitely take that for F. <laughs> Fantastic work, okay. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, G. You wouldn't think I got a degree in English, would you? Right, G, anybody? Glorious, okay. H, holy, hilarious. God is hilarious, absolutely right. I, immortal, invisible, God only wise. Was I the only one doing that in my head? No, I wasn't, right, okay. J, just, yes, God is just, absolutely right. K, king, excellent. Uh, L, loving. Fantastic, well done. Yes, M, mighty, thank you. N, no, you've got one, go on. God is nice, yes, absolutely right. God is nice, you're spot on, yes. Omniscient, you were waiting for that one to come up, weren't you? Yes, yeah, you were. You were waiting to get to O. And you may have noticed that eagle-eyed amongst you that actually O is not on our screen. But that is not a deliberate theological point. Did you notice that? 
you did. Well done. Um, that's not anything theological, and God is indeed omniscient. Right, let's come to OP. Pardon? Kind. Well, that is, apt, that is a brilliant word to use to describe God. Um, doubling back on the Ks, we love that. Anything for P? Peaceful. Okay, Q. Quintessential. <laughs> quintessential. There's your takeaway this morning, everybody. God is quintessential. Love it. Right. R. Righteous. Great word. Thank you very much. S. Strong. T. Trustworthy. Love that. U. We're getting to the trickier end now. U. God is understanding. What a good word. Was that the one you had as well? Yeah, fantastic. Oh, look, God is doubly understanding. Love that. Uh, v. God is victorious. Lovely. Okay, V. W. Oh, sorry? Wise. Wise. Oh, I hadn't, I, I hadn't even thought of that. Lovely. God is wise. V. W. X. Xenophilic. I love that. <laughs> I love that as well. We've got O and Q and X. Where could you get this? This is brilliant stuff. Okay, yes, sorry, go on. You've got a W, well, let's hear it. Worthy, Worthy. what a great word, well done. Thank you for thinking of that. Um, any Ys? Yeah, God is, yeah. We love that. God is yes and amen, we love that. Yes, go on. Back to P, okay. Powerful. I love that. We will not be constrained by the traditions of the order of the alphabet here. No. Z. Pardon? Zealous. Zion. Okay, well done. Fantastic. All great words to help us think about who God is. And so now we're going to sing two songs that help us think about who God is and what a difference God makes to us. So I'm going to say a prayer. And then once I've prayed, I'm going to invite you to stand if you're willing and able. The first of the two songs we're going to sing does have some actions. I'm going to be doing them. Karen might even do them as well. And if you want to, is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I realise you might not have been planning to, and I've just said you're going to. And if you want to join in, you're very, very welcome. So let's say a prayer first. If you remember how this goes, we'll do our prayer house, okay? So we lay the floor, build the walls, we put the roof on, we come down the chimney, and we close the curtains. Dear God, thank you that we can gather safely together today to think about who you are and what a difference it makes for our lives. We pray now that as we sing, as we hear from the Bible, as we think about you, you would help us to grow in our knowledge and our understanding, and you would help us to be the best followers of Jesus that we can be. Amen. Amen. So if you're willing and able, I invite you to stand as we sing, Our God is a Great Big God.
so loving God, as we gather to praise you and to worship you, we thank you for all the different ways in which you bless us each and every day. And Lord, as a, a sign of our thankfulness and our gratitude, we offer you the gifts that we have bought and given this morning and have given in other ways and at other times. And we ask that you would take them and that you would use them to further your kingdom. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please do be seated. And we're going to continue in prayer together. And Lana's going to come and lead us in that now. Let's pray. Father God, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. God, you are with us in all of our beginnings, in our new starts, our new opportunities, in our new lives, in our new schools, in our new friendships, in our new challenges and in our new hopes. God, you are with us in all of those beginnings, giving us hope and giving us courage to start. Father God, I pray um, for all in our church community and all in the wider community for those facing new beginnings. God, I ask that you would be close to them, close to us, that you would give us wisdom and courage and strength for what is new and beginning. But God, you are also with us in the endings of things too. And God, we thank you for your um, comfort in times of grief. We thank you for your peace in times of distress. We thank you um, that you are with us from the start to the end. And for those in our lives who are experiencing endings, closed chapters, moments to step aside or step away, God, we ask that you would be with us in those endings. Give us strength, give us peace, give us comfort, and give us discernment for what is next. God, we thank you that you are never further away than a breath, always with us, always close beside us, through life's beginnings and middles and ends. And so we pray right now that you would um, feel closer than ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you to Lana. As you may have got a bit of a hint in our prayers there, this morning we are thinking a little bit about beginnings and endings. And sometimes beginnings um, are really exciting, sometimes they're very difficult. Sometimes endings are exciting and they can be a bit difficult. And sometimes beginnings and endings can be quite memorable for us. So we thought we might help us think about how memorable they can be by, well, testing your memory of a few. So Harry has wonderfully put together um, some stuff which is going to appear on the screen now. And um, we're going to uh, listen, I think, first. These ones are all songs. And we're going to hear uh, the beginning of the song, right? And I'm going to see if you can work out what the song is. Some of the songs might be from films, so you might be able to work out the film as well. All right? So, are you ready for question number one? You ready? Okay, let's have our first intro. Oh, oh. You know the answer, do you? Oh, it's Toy Story. Shall we see if you're right? It is. Well done. You've got a friend in me from Toy Story. I'm very impressed. Straight in there. Excellent. Right. Now, this next one I tell you, is, I don't think is in a film, although it might be in a film I don't know, but we'll see if anyone knows the song. Oh, right. You were straight in there. Rio, you seem to know. It is in the film. It's in, in the B movie. They, it is Here Comes the Sun. Well done. Well, and sorry, let's see what the answer is. Here comes the sun. Okay. What a panto crowd you are. Right, okay. Let's, let's see. Um, I'll be very impressed if you can all do that with the next one. Right, um, number three. Oh, oh. Right. We, oh, you can. 
I think what we just saw there was a big generational divide drawn straight across the middle of the room. Right, Eli, go on. It, sorry, go on. Fantastic. We don't talk about Bruno from, sorry, we don't, from the film Encanto. Well done. If you've not seen it, treat yourself this afternoon. It'll be online somewhere. Right, here's another song. You think you know this one? Oh, we're getting it at the back there. Right, uh, Amanda, you think this might be? Wonderwall, do we concur? Well, then let's see if she's right. Okay. I really hadn't factored in, uh, but I'm loving it. Keep going, keep going. Right, the last of our songs before we move on to some films. Right, okay, here it is. Okay, which is? Well, it is, a, do you know what? It is in that film, actually. You're absolutely right. Does anyone know the name of the song? Emily, let's see if you're right. Well done. Okay. You're just going to let it go? Yeah, yeah, okay. There's no control anymore, it's all gone. Right. And now we'll move on. <laughs> to, right, that was the songs, we're done with the songs now, right. So now, these are all going to be things from film or TV, and these are either going to be the very beginning, or these are going to be from the end. Okay, we're thinking about some endings here as well now. Beginnings and endings. So, here's the first one. So, th So the film, Rome, you were straight in there. It is up. Let's have a look and see if you're right. It is up. Well done. I'm loving the graphics on the quiz. Aren't they good? Yeah. Right. Here's the next one, which um, is a little bit older than up. That is the start of the film. Jenny. It's not, it's not, it's not. But I see where you were going. Tim. 2001 Space Odyssey. Let's see if you're right. Okay, there you go. Okay, and our third film introduction is. I've not seen this one. Okay, Falami, what one's that? Sing Two, very good, yes. So that is Sing Two, well done. Oh. There's nothing to be done, is there? Nothing you can do. Right, okay. Here's our first outro ending, okay? Here we go. That's all you're getting. It's all you're getting. Go on. Star Wars, well done, okay. Right, this next one is small screen rather than big screen. Right, we're finding out who's... I know all the grown-ups have known this one. They're pretending they don't know. Go on. Let's see if it's the chase. 
Right, okay. So now we have another introduction. We've got three more left. Okay. Here's another intro, another beginning. Oh, look at the hands go up. Right, okay. Right. Do you reckon you know this one, Lala? Did you want to do it? No? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's come over here. Molly! You think it's the Lion King? Should we see if you're right? It is. <laughs> Still makes me cry every time, in a good way. Right, we've got two left. This one is an outro, an ending. That's all you're getting there. Oh, right, yeah, go on. You look like you might know the answer. Let's see, Planet of the Apes. Is it Planet of the Apes? It is Planet of the Apes. The Statue of Liberty. Pardon? I have spoiled the whole film. If you've never seen it, that's the ending of the film. Okay, and our last one. This is an introduction, a beginning. This is a classic, you're absolutely right. Okay. Go on. We think it might be Finding Nemo. Should we see if you're right? Okay. okay. Well done, everybody. And I think a round of applause for our quiz master as well. Did that very well. Well done. Yeah. So beginnings and endings, some more memorable than others. Can you think now, here's my next question, of in your life some memorable beginnings or endings perhaps? Any time where you've begun something or finished something and it's stuck in your memory that you're willing and able to share? with us. Keep it light, adults, keep it light. Okay. Yes. When you got married, a wonderful new beginning. Yes, that's a great way to start this. Well done. Thank you. Go on. Moving house. That's a great new beginning as well, isn't it? We love that, Marion. Being accepted as a foster carer, a beginning of a great new adventure. Yes. Oh, hang on. Say that again. not being able to do your 15 times table. I think that's a beginning waiting to happen, don't you? Oh, oh, you know how to do it, you finished it. Oh, it's an ending, because you've completed the, oh, I'm very impressed, 15s, can you do 13s? Oh, okay, you don't, haven't done those yet, but you've done 15s. I can't do that, well done, fantastic. Well, and maths is very important, maths is very important. Yes, go on. When you got baptised, great beginning, fantastic. We'll have a couple more, yeah? Ha learning to know 12 times 12, what a great beginning. Yes? When Lana was born. Ah, <laughs> ah. Did you have one as well? Ah, oh, when you had your children. Right, yes, fantastic. So, we, all of us, have different things that end and begin at different times. So I want you to bear that in mind, as we're going to sing a song now, which actually talks about the great new beginning that we can have with God, coming to some of our answers there. So we're going, sorry, you didn't know that was coming next, did you? We're going to sing together now. Um, <laughs> A song that talks about God's goodness to us and how that gives us the opportunity to start again with a new beginning. So if you're willing and able, I invite you to stand as we sing. And then after we've heard this song, we're go or sung this song, we're going to have our readings from the Bible. Thank you.
Amen. Please do be seated. We're going to have two readings from the Bible now, and Roman and Natalia are going to come and read them for us. The words will also be on the screen. Twenty-four, very truly, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed, but if it, it dies, it produces many seeds. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. Fantastic. Thank you to Roman and Natalia for reading for us. I think it is safe to say that we're in autumn now, don't you? How do we know we're, oh, it's autumn? Because the leaves are falling down from the trees. That is exactly it. That's the first clue for me. Any other reasons why we know it's autumn? Because the leaves change colour. Fantastic. Have we got another autumn reason? Okay, September is the starting autumn month, so we know by following our calendars as well. We love that. And the leaves are getting crunchy. They're crunching, they're changing colour, they're falling down, and we know because we follow our calendars. Absolutely right. The days are getting a bit shorter, it's raining a bit more. Jacob, what about you? The conkers start falling. Yes, absolutely right. So all these different ways in which we know that the seasons have changed. And autumn definitely feels like the end of something, doesn't it? I think especially with leaves falling from the trees. And it could be tempting to look at the branches with less leaves on and be a bit sad. But we don't generally do that very much because what's going to happen to the trees? Well, I think that's probably true, but what's going to happen with the leaves? Go on now. They will grow back. That, well, they will grow back. That's exactly right. We're thinking about them growing back. So we don't generally get very, very sad that it's autumn, although perhaps we miss the sunshine, because we know that with the leaves falling, that means that new leaves are going to be able to grow. Last Sunday, next slide please, we had a fantastic harvest display here at the front of the church. So hat tip to Sharon and the team for making that happen. And if you can see in this display included some beautiful sunflowers. And in the middle of the sunflower, we'll have the next slide, thank you. There are some seeds. Does anyone know roughly how many seeds you get in the middle of a sunflower? Have a guess. 100, it's a little bit more than 100 actually. It's a little bit more than 200. We might be here a while, go on. Ten hundred. Well, a thousand. That's it. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Jump straight to it. Yeah. Well done. So at least a thousand, sometimes as many as two thousand seeds in the middle of a sunflower. And each of those could grow to be a sunflower of its own. So from that one sunflower with its thousand seeds, we might have lots and lots and lots of other sunflowers that grow. This is a little bit like what Jesus is talking about in the reading that Roman read for us a few minutes ago. Sometimes something needs to end in order for something new to begin. You might have to stop going to one after-school club in order to start doing another one. Sometimes a project or a play or a show that we're involved in finishes, but that means we have time for other things. You may have to finish year two before you can go into year three. You need to harvest the food before people can have something to eat. 
And sometimes endings are difficult and we wish that they weren't ending. And sometimes endings are happy and we're really glad that they're ending. And most of the time, we're a mixture of both of those two things all at once. I think also, when Jesus is talking about seeds dying, he was hinting to his friends about what was going to happen to him at the very first Easter. Do you remember what happens at the very first Easter? What's the Easter? Fantastic, Stuart. Well done. I'm very impressed. You're absolutely right. So we remember that on Good Friday, the Friday of that first Easter, Jesus dies on the cross. You're absolutely right. But then Sunday was the very best new beginning there has ever been because the tomb is... Go on, sorry. I should have asked that as a question, shouldn't I? Go on, you tell me what happened. Fantastic. Well, Jesus dies on the Friday and then a couple of days later he comes alive again. Fantastic, well done. Which is the very best new beginning. And because Jesus has become alive again, all the mistakes and the bad decisions and the things we get wrong can be wiped clean as we begin this new life with God. Now, in our reading, which Natalia read for us, we heard the very last words of Matthew's Gospel, Matthew's version of the Jesus story. Here is the end. But is it all over? Absolutely not. In fact, what looks like the ending of Matthew's Gospel is just the beginning as Jesus' friends do what Jesus asked them to do and they went and told other people about him and this thing called the church was born. And here we are 2,000 years later because they went out on that adventure. What looked like the end is in fact the beginning. So this morning I simply want to suggest that maybe God isn't only with us in fresh starts and new beginnings, but God might be with us in our endings too, which might in turn just become our beginnings again. Which means endings aren't always bad. They might be difficult, they might be sad sometimes, but if we think of them more like autumn, then perhaps we'll be ready for spring when it comes. Most importantly, at the very, very end of those last words in Matthew's Gospel, the very end, Jesus says, I am with you always, to the very end of the age. So whether it's an ending or a beginning that you've got in your mind today, whether it's something you're excited about, sad about, nervous about, peaceful about, know that Jesus is with you. And there will never be a time when that is not true. Jesus goes with you, always and everywhere. And for that this morning, we simply say, thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Now, I was going to do something with pens and paper now, but I actually don't think I want to do that. I'm going to change my mind. So instead, we're going to pray together, and I'm going to invite you to pray with me, okay? If you want to, you can say amen at the end to make my prayer your prayer. And if you want to, I want you to maybe hold out your hands and I want you to think about an ending or a beginning that you've got on your mind this morning. And we're just going to offer it to God in prayer together. And then we're going to amen and we're going to sing a song to finish our service. So have you thought of an ending or a beginning? Perhaps both. Perhaps they're the same thing. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for your guidance and your help Thank you for your wisdom and all the ways in which you help us and teach us and show us the way to go. Lord, for the endings that we want to bring before you this morning, we pray that as much as it has anything to do with us, that you would help us to end well. We pray that you would help us as we deal with the emotions that come with finishing something. And we pray too that you would help us to be able to think about the new beginnings too. Thank you that you are with us in new things, that you lead us in new ways, that there is always more for us to explore and understand with you. And so Jesus, we pray that you would help us to know the right way to go. Would you be with us in our endings and in our beginnings and all the bits in between? And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Amen. So we're going to sing to finish our service a song that's all about a new beginning, a new beginning with God. So this will be the end of our service. Once we've done this, we'll have the blessing. And then tea and coffee is going to be through that way. You're all very welcome to stay and join us. We'd love to spend that time with you. And then for those of you who are church members at quarter two, we're going to be coming back in here to have a quick meeting together. So if you're willing and able, I invite you to stand as we sing.
So friends, may the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the God who loves you in all your beginnings and in all your endings, be with you this day and always. Amen.